This video illustrates the correct procedure for installing UCAN flow rock adhesive anchors into cavity wall. We will demonstrate a horizontal installation of threaded rod into hollow concrete block with stainless steel screen and flow rock 528 max. Preparation Always store cartridges at plus 5 degrees Celsius to plus 25 degrees Celsius before use. Do not warm cartridges in water or in a microwave. Flow rock is not recommended for overhead applications. Please begin by familiarizing yourself with the UCAN's technical manual and MSDS sheet or material safety data sheet. Check that you have all the items required for the installation ready. These will include an ANSI rated drill bit, nylon or light gauge steel brush, anchor rod assembly, stainless steel screen, Flowrock FR528 Max cartridge, and static mixing nozzle. A PA3500 manual or a PA5000 battery powered dispensing tool will also be required. You will also need to wear appropriate personal safety gear such as goggles, gloves, dust mask, and earplugs. Finally, make sure that the drill bit length and the diameter matches the screen. Refer to UCAN's technical manual for details. Drilling and cleaning the anchor hole. Mark the anchor location where the holes are to be drilled. Allow for adequate anchor spacing and edge distances. Details are provided in the UCAN technical manual. Drill the hole perpendicular to the wall surface and take care not to spall the masonry by applying excessive pressure to the drill. Clean the hole thoroughly using a nylon or a light gauge steel brush. Anchor installation. You are now ready to install the anchor. First, inspect the threaded rods to make certain it is free of oil or other contaminants. Then, check the expiry date of the cartridge label to verify that the adhesive is still usable. Next, replace the protective cap on the flow rock cartridge with the static mixing nozzle. When the nozzle is firmly screwed in place, insert the cartridge into the PA3500 manual dispensing tool or battery tool. Ensure that the cartridge is properly seated in the tool's carriage so that the plungers can move freely inside the cartridge. Dispense adhesive to the side until a consistent gray color without any white streaking is achieved. This indicates that the adhesive is fully mixed and ready for anchoring. Stop dispensing by fully releasing the trigger and pushing it forward. Completely letting go of the trigger and pushing it forward will disengage the tool's push rod, thereby preventing unnecessary spillage. Grasp the screen's tab with your free hand and insert the nozzle to the bottom of the screen. Dispense adhesive from the cartridge while slowly withdrawing the nozzle from the screen. Completely fill the screen with adhesive.
Insert the filled screen into the hole until the bent tab is flush with the brick or block surface. Push the threaded rod slowly into the screen while turning the rod clockwise until it reaches the bottom of the screen. The installed anchor must not be disturbed or loaded before the specified curing time has elapsed. Refer to UCAN's technical manual for curing times and details. This completes our demonstration. For further information, refer to the UCAN Technical Manual or contact UCAN's technical department.